the American, you know, recent college graduate is having trouble finding a job. And it's not because the jobs aren't out there. I'll give you a few reasons and let you decide for yourself. First, poor self-image. It's so nerve-wracking for these kids to graduate college that there's so much doubt which leads to depression which sort of overtakes these individuals. And that self-doubt leads to lack of motivation and lack of motivation leads to lack of applications and lack of applications leads to lack of job options. Lack of job options leads to lack of job offers. I can't think of anything else that says lack in it after that. But, you know, there's also the lack of self-marketing. You know, these individuals have to think not what I want, but what does the employer want? What is that manager sitting across the table? What are his concerns? You know, you look at the guy, maybe he's 40, 45, receding hairline with a wedding ring on. He's probably has two kids running around and he's stressed to high heavens. Therefore, one could maybe presume that he wants someone who's just going to listen to him and get the job done. Once we start looking at things from other people's angles, we can become a lot lot more effective in business. And then there's lack of reality. I don't know if it's just, you know, their reality or some career saying, I don't know what the cause is. But just because you're American does not mean you deserve a job. We've actually gone back to old school when people came here from like Italy on boats. They didn't deserve a job, they swept the street. You know, I hear, well, Ken, you know, I don't want a cold call. No one wants the cold call, you know, but you do it. And that is what makes this country so entrepreneurial, okay? So the way I see it is I see it, we're about 250 years back in time, and we have to really do and rebuild so we can have those cushy jobs again because the internet boom isn't coming around anytime soon. Oh, and then poor career choices. I've had people be like, oh, I'm going to take a job because it's five minutes closer to my house. You know, I mean, they make Red Bull for that type of stuff. You know, it's um, poor career choices. You, you, must, you must use your head before accepting a job. It's a big thing. You went to school for like 18 years to start a career. Why start screwing it up over really, really dumb reasons like, well, this firm's really entrepreneurial and my boss is only 24. Let me tell you about your 24-year-old boss. She probably can't manage too well and I couldn't manage too well at 24 either. And, you know, sorry to trash you guys. I think I have a few more in the, uh, in the woodwork here. Um, also, the internet. Okay, and that's, that's no one's fault. Um, Things like being a travel agent, Expedia just killed it, you know. The internet is consistently looking for ways to stop having to pay people for their work. Now thousands of years ago they came out with like the plow and everyone was probably up in arms that like, oh my god, I, you know, you know I'm not going to be able to farm vegetables anymore. The internet's a whole different beast. We're a smarter society. <laughs> And I think that that's not, you know, it shouldn't be looked at as something that is discouraging. It should be looked at as a challenge that when you beat it, you feel that much better. And then finally, yes, I'll give it to you, the economy. But, you know, when you watch like people like Erin Burnett, and she's the only person I'll ever watch on the news, just because it's Erin Burnett, I don't care what she says. You see like people in North Africa, they have no money, they have no jobs. I mean, this is still the land of opportunity. A poor economy is an amazing economy anywhere else in the world. You make, you know, you make the most of what you're given, okay? By the time a good economy comes, you're not going to be successful because you must prepare for it. If you can't overcome the you know, big hurdles, you're not going to smoothly ride the small ones.